Today's episode is sponsored by Exter. What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Tech Tricks back in our video and today we're looking at the brand new iPhone SE that will come out next spring and we're going to talk about the iPhone 14 that will be coming out next week specifically the iPhone 14 Pro and we have some bad news. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you could be notified of next videos to come of tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit the like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what the iPhone SE would look like next year. Basically, in the spring of 2023, we'll be able to see more colors on the iPhone 14. And also, we're going to see the new design, new redesign for the iPhone SE. So right now, there is a trend that the iPhone SE, of course, gets the old design from previous generations of iPhones. Right now, we still have the buttons from the iPhone 8 design. Now, next year, the iPhone SE will have a redesign again, but it will take on the design of the iPhone XR. Now the iPhone XR is one of the best sellers of the iPhones and it still lives up till today. I actually owned an iPhone XR and I used it for quite a while. It was a great phone and nothing wrong with it until the processor starts to bog down because I use it a lot for taking videos and editing. So with the iPhone SE coming out next year, it will have the new A16 chip that will be in iPhone 14s. So you'll have that speed and great processing capabilities of the iPhone 14 in a 10R body. That's really awesome actually. Even if it only had a 720p screen just like the iPhone XR, I wouldn't be bothered by that. The screen wasn't bad at all. It's actually one of the best uh, LCD screens that Apple had made. So there's nothing wrong with the design at all. Even if you didn't have the square edge design, it's still worth it to get. It will also have a price tag or probably similar to the, the iPhone SE just to attract people you know, the people that don't really care about the design or anything like that, they don't want to get the flagship phones, they can get the iPhone SE next year. And uh, they will have the new redesign of the notch bezel less design without breaking the bank. Now in the world that is changing so much, we need more smart things. This is a smart wallet by Exter. Now today's sponsor is from Exter. If you're a minimalist like me, Exter is the one for you. It will organize your credit cards into one place and you'll be able to access it really quick as well. They have various slick designs from leather, gunmetal, and carbon fiber. You can even get a tracker card or one that has an AirTag slot so that you can find your wallet wherever it goes. and you'll be able to find your phone as well if you did lose your phone. They even have a perfect bag for daily commute or a weekend adventure. Tech sleeves if you have laptops, tablets, and tech accessories. They even have MagSafe wallet. They have a tool card as well that you can use so that you're always ready to go when you are on the go. And then you have the key holder as well that you can use to track or have flashlight, you know, just in case. Now check out the link down below or go to shop.exter.com slash Teligato for 20% off. And thank you, Exter, for sponsoring this episode of Tech Tricks. So last news of the day. Now we know that the iPhone 14 Pro will have the redesign punch hole design on the camera and the face ID. Those are great and all. And I believe that the hardware will still have that. But in iOS 16, there's a rumor that punch hole design will just be a long punch hole instead of two separate ones. Now for me personally, the long punch hole looks cleaner and it's more symmetrical overall. That's why I think Apple will actually do this. But we're not really sure if this is happening or not yet because the iPhone 14 hasn't been released yet till next week. So we'll have to stay tuned till that happens on September 7. For me personally, I would just want Apple to not have any punch hole or notch up there. But of course, because Apple is Apple and they want everything symmetrical, they probably would change it on the software. Unfortunately, 
to have elongated poncho. And that's it for today, everyone. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're okay with that, if that's a better design for you or not. Um, I'll see you guys out there. And um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.